I grew up in Iraq. I went to a school that was on a margin between middle class and a lower middle class family uh, neighborhood. And my classmates would talk about public executions, would talk about their fathers being killed in the war. Going home, it was a comfortable middle class family, but in the evening, we would go to Saddam's evenings, or his family's, and it was a completely different life. It's luxury and plentifulness of everything. And mostly I realized the concept of fear. We were encaptured by Saddam Hussein. We were like his gisters. <laughs> you know, we, we were at his disposal whenever he wanted us to, weekends, evenings, daytimes, whatever. And, and it was a social relationship. My mom was in that relationship, yet everything was political. I remember her, her orders for me, it's like, do not look at him in the eyes. He knows how to read eyes. Always smile when he smiles, cry when he cries. And I don't know how to say it, what was that all about? It was about, I can only say it with one thing that she used to say, she says, I can see the cages, the bars to the cage. I can feel the bars of the cage. I just can't prove they exist. And it was her being all of us. You know, he was like a poison gas leaked into our home and we breathed him slowly. Um, we were all imprisoned in that cage. A beautiful, luxurious one, mind you. <laughs> but we were all imprisoned in that cage and she just couldn't get out of it. And I think the independence part was the only way one can get out of such cage.